Hello, everyone. How are you today? Happy Saturday. It is the best day of the weekend for many people that decide to go out there and do their little nasty business with other people and have a lot of fun. So, yeah. This video today, all about drama, everything that you need to know that you like, everything in between. I'm not the god of it, I just have ideas and I have some questions that need to be asked today and answered. So, drama. Why? We always ask ourselves, why do we go into it? What are the problems with it? And pretty much everything in between, why is it so chaotic? So, drama, duh, why does it cause problems? Let's see. So, number one, you go in there, you have a conversation with someone, and it seems to just be a loophole and continuation of going on. There's no resolve with it, right? Uh, of course, there could be with like, oh my god, yeah, someone has to cave to pressure. Maybe that's something that they do. What problems does drama solve? Um, drama solves problems when people need to be put in their place, when they actually need to, maybe, and maybe, like, you have a vendetta against one of your least favorite people, they can be thrown into the drama of a lifetime, and I'm not sure how that goes over for everyone, but for some people, maybe they get the, the kick in the butt that they need. What, uh... What does drama not do for people? This is a really good question, and I'm glad that you asked. Drama doesn't really keep people from expanding their lives in a very positive manner. Uh, it pulls them... It doesn't allow people to move upwards in life. It just creates a little... It's a tornado. Just imagine a tornado where a hurricane appears out of nowhere. You go into it, and you went through it, and now you're gone. You were sort of like excited that you went in there at first... Because there seems to be something going on, and it was a natural disaster you wanted to see. But as soon as you're gone out of it, you realize, look, it's just going to stay there and be what it is. It's like the everlasting uh, tropical storms that we don't want to have inside of our countries. And we wish that they didn't happen, but maybe there's some type of universal flow for drama. In that we actually sort of need it in our lives to have order, have chaos in order, I guess, if you may. So... Is drama a personality trait that plays victim or victor? This is, uh, th I guess, I, yeah, yeah, does it play victim or victor? I guess if you are drama itself, if that's the way that the question is meant to be set and answered with, drama causes people to go inside of that storm, like I said, um, there's an explosion that happens. You go through the cloud of smoke and then you're gone. So you're pretty much the victor there where you're having a lot of fun. But when you leave, you don't really want to go back. Drama is not, it can't be a personality trait for everyone. So to each your own. Anything else that you'd like to know? Uh, do, when does drama get, oh yeah, this is a good one. So we're going to do this one. It's right after the second, the, the one thing, the question I had. Does having no drama mean that you have no personality traits? Look, according to drama, yes. But drama is black and white. Like, there's, you're either on this side or you're on that side. It's like some type of crazy political movement that's just throwing people right out of proportion. And they have to either choose one side. Who wants to be a part of that? Let's just come all together. Who's to say that, hey, look, like, if you don't have emotions that are so strong, it doesn't mean that you're not right. That's another idea people might have about drama. Maybe that's why it's so popular. But on the other hand, why can't we come together and forgive each other and allow people to move on? Because if we don't, we're going to have more social problems. We're just going to keep causing arguments. That's our favorite time of the day. Welcome to Saturday morning, and I hope you have a good time. When does drama get out of hand? Yeah, drama is... When does it get out of hand? Let's see. Um, okay, well, I could just say anything and really create drama at this point. There's a few YouTubers out there that we sure as hell know. I'm not going to go in there because what they'll do is it gets out of hand because it sucks people back in. It's like that little gaslighting or trauma bond that just randomly exists out of life that you see there. It really has no meaning or anything. It's just to pass time. That's it. Anything else in between there? Just a selfish tornado of fun for everyone. Move on. Get rid of the get rid of the lightning and the thunder around it. Get rid of all that catastrophe and fun that a lot of people like to have with it. When does drama give hands? 
Uh, yeah, it slaps hands sometimes. Sometimes. It, yeah, just pretty much slaps hands away from you. You just don't want that shit. Get it away. And then move on, right? Drama gets out of hand when people that are on the verge of, like, suicide or maybe just want to make friends just go inside of it and they don't understand it, right? I know in a lot of times people on YouTube want to make a big deal out of making drama their thing and that if they step outside of it that they're not being real. And that's where I'm coming in where you have to either choose to be uh, really emotionally, like, attached to things, but then people can play victim all the time. There's no... There's no in-between of anything. It's just it is what it is. People can't see the outside of anything and the inside and the in-between. They can't make up ideas. They can't think of ideas that are, like, positive. We're just going in, like, this tornado disaster of horribleness. This is the last time I say tornado because my mind's going to explode. If you like this stuff that I have in the background and everything, please let me know. There's not really much going on. I'm just really pausing the video at this point just to look around my my room and just see maybe what I can do. I know I got posters um, and, and stuff on the walls, which I think is beautiful. And I, I, I truly, I truly like, I truly admire it. It's tranquil. When can you stop trauma? How do you, how can you stop trauma? Drama. Drama is trauma. Like realistically, like people that die because of drama being bullied consistently because they don't understand it. They don't understand what it's for. And that's why I believe a lot of people commit suicide. Um, it's a very tough topic, but to be, um, quite aware of this is important. This is a good video. This is what people should know, should already know inside of their minds, that these things can actually have an effect on others. Even if you think that they can't, you got to step out of the box sometimes. If you have a couple, maybe even three different options in your mind of different ideas, then your intentions, uh, they're really all right if you have them in the right place. Now... How can you really stop it? You can't. It just keeps happening. How can you start it? You can very easily. You can just say something like, oh, like, global warming is a thing. Or, hey, um, news is fake. Something like that. And then what that does is it causes attention for no reason, and people will start to come into your life. That's pretty much the same thing as a trauma bond. You start saying stuff, you mirror someone, and then you discard them. And now they're confused of what happened. They just went in a, in a shit cloud of tornado, like, as Mr. Leahy would say off of the trailer park, boys. What else do you know about it? I'm sure that you can make up drama at any moment in your life. Where do you think or feel drama is most relevant? I think drama is most relevant inside of people that don't understand how to view or step outside of the box. Mainly in sort of things like, and I don't want to be too strong about this, I could say this and create drama. Maybe someone has like some type of mental disorder and they can't get out of it. That can be dramatic for that person, but can it also be dramatic for someone else too? I'm not too sure, but I have some ideas that maybe it can be. Uh, there, are, there are some leading evidence and facts, but you can look that up on your own. You can make the decision. I have some ideas. They're my ideas, and it's okay to have them. I'm allowed to. If I were to step in a drama, it, this is already starting it. You can create it if you want to. It's something anyone has. They can create it. They also have positivity that they can lead out with drama. They don't need that stuff. Oh, wow. There's too many S words that I'm throwing out here in today. I'm sorry, everyone. I know that there's probably people over the age of 18 watching this video. And if you're not, you may as well just click out of this video because go somewhere else. You don't need to be here. But maybe you do. When you get older, you'll start to know why those ass whoopings are happening to you. Why people start having problems with you. And even though you think that you're always right because you're making people go inside the, the cataclysmic storms um, of the Viking Norse gods, then maybe people will start to treat you like the way that you should be. And the best thing that you can do, um, drama, to make it really irrelevant, this is, this is important. Where do you think or feel drama is irrelevant. This is extremely, extremely good of a question. Drama being irrelevant. Yeah. Well, when you don't want it in your life, really, you can go into it anytime. Seems like everyone has a little bit of it, especially the drama YouTubers. And we go into the cup of tea ones where they're sitting down. These are the people that are watching the drama. These, I think some of these people are really intelligent in what they say. They speak and they have their words. 
and I feel maybe I'm the coffee drama because I'm a total dude and whatever else I identify as doesn't really matter at this point because I'm living my life to the fullest. How can you uh, understand why uh, is it relevant in some of these areas um, with the drama being irrelevant and and relevant? Well, uh, drama being relevant. Hmm. Yeah, this podcast is getting a little bit long. It's about 10 minutes now, but thank you very much for your patience, everyone. Uh, I'm going to go in for at least one more, one, two more minutes here, and then we'll be on our way. I know it's called the 10 minute podcast, but it's the 10 minute and a little bit over sometimes podcasts. So, uh, drama, it's, it's always there. It's really, it's really irrelevant when you want it to be. And the drama will stop once you cut off everyone that is a part of it. It's a business, right? Like it's a thing and it's so easy to do. It's the laziest type of business that you can go into. I could start a drama podcast right now, destroy many people's lives. And maybe that one child will have something happen to them because I created something. Like some of the YouTubers out there. I'm not throwing any names out there. And I'm not going to be a part of it. I don't care. It's not really a war. But we know that people have died because of drama. We know this. It's showing in schools. Bullying. Stuff like that. There's a difference between drama and drama class. What you're learning to do is work with people. Now you're working against everyone. But at the same time you claim you're working with them. It's so black and white. And this is huge uh, some type of disgust of human filth. Like, if there were some drama people out there, I would totally spit on them. Like, and whatever, right? Like, people think, hey, look, like, we're going to keep up with all of your crap. We're going to allow that to happen. There's some people you don't want in your life. You really F with the wrong person, and they may actually come in and destroy it. If you get doxxed or whatever, that's a big thing. And one of the reasons is because there are people out there not normally just trolling and wanting to destroy your life, but there's people out there that generally cause more chaos than anything if you fuck with them. No one really benefits from drama at all. Um, there is no, there's no benefit for it. So who benefits for it and who doesn't? Like it's just like, it's just so crazy. Like people that are sick, people that have an empty void in their body but feel whole because it's the the laziest thing and the quickest thing to do. Like going out there and uh, you know taking like a, instead of wiping your ass you get your you get your kid to do it or something and even that's not easy like that's something that's just like you not wanting to move your hand like move it and do something with it right instead of just sitting there like you're not a tree right do something this whole video is made from drama is it is it really no I think drama itself is just dramatic and the drama scene here. That stuff is, it's just a very huge taboo inside of uh, the YouTube marketplace overall. And it should be stopped. It's go, It's t just taking over. Uh, the tea parties though, those are the ones that I really respect. This is my coffee party, my 15 minute long coffee party video. Uh, remember, avoiding drama is a seen as a weakness and will create drama for people. Like when I'm saying this is that I'm almost expecting for someone to talk about me just for the sake of it. And what they'll do is, if eventually that I get connected with that person in a traumatic way or a way where I feel like I need validation that is extremely toxic, and these things do happen to many people across the world, even even yourself, you might do it to people. You may not do it to the extent of others, but we sure as hell maybe have forgiven ourselves for doing what we've done and the other person uh, we feel bad for. We feel like we've lost something there. You've lost a relationship. Sometimes doing those things are really cool, though. Like uh, just showing like, hey, I have interest in you. And you're sort of like, I guess, not like gaslighting the person. Just being like poking and prodding at them, teasing. Teasing isn't a huge thing. But you're just getting at them that you want them, you want to, you want them to like you sort of thing. Which is cool. Sort of what you want. Some nights when you're drinking, you're hanging out with your friends. I don't drink power to you. I don't do any of that stuff. I'm sorry. You probably think I do. You probably think that I'm using something else, and I'm not. I'm really not. Why is this channel not for drama? Because I don't believe in it, motherfucker. And I never will. There are things that you shouldn't fuck with. 
and I might be one of them. Who knows? Why would you do that? Would you do that? Would you want to see that happen? Like, you can literally create it. Like, that's another way of doing it. The toxic people, there's, like, the malignant tumors that just want to, like, go out there and cause an explosion randomly, thinking that I'll react to it. No, I have a thought, and I understand things in a calculated way. Yeah. Yeah, you better believe it, drama channels. Avoiding drama is a weakness. You already went over that. Uh, think for yourself and get out of the toxic drama. Like I said, just get out of it. It's an addiction for many people because it's so easy. Easiest thing, like being bored and then just randomly talking about people. Yeah, destroy their lives. You can't really make them better. You can, like, please people. Say, oh, my God, you're so good at things. Oh, my God, you're so good. Wow. But in the end, you're just another piece of scum on the bottom of a stepped-on crap, bubblegum, hairy, spit-stepping shoe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video, and if you liked it, like the video. If you disliked it, leave. Go somewhere else. We need positivity in this channel. You can like it. You can do what you want. I'm not telling you what to do. Do it. Thank you very much, and welcome to the Restroom Podcast, the 10-minute podcast. 15 or 20 now. Bye. Bye. That was weird. Bye.